I'm Peter Longworth, um, farmer here at Cundle Cundle Road. We grow beef cattle and we harvest grass seed and we make hay and silage. The main challenges are for us floods uh, and, and extended periods of wet weather because the country is low. So whenever we have a even a small river flood, we, we would go underwater on, on these paddocks that we're standing at. The main challenge is just wet weather and trying to, trying to grow good grass. You grow heaps of grass, but not necessarily good grass in wet weather. And floods will kill everything. Uh, we have what we call peat moss soils, old, old peat moss. And then underneath that is what's called acid sulphate soil. Um, our, our acid sulphate level is is reasonably deep for, for for this type of country. We work on the on the top top surface, but we don't disturb deep down. It makes it makes the general topsoil fairly acid. So our pH is between four and five. If we didn't do any liming or any management at all, it might be even below four. So the, there's two two main things we do, and one is. Um, the minimum tillage. Um, we try and keep our, our base grass, our base grass um, established all the time. We don't try and spray it out or, or cultivate it right up and to, to plant winter crops or any other crops. We tend to just leave the base grass there and plant into it. And we also, via the management of the floodgates, we, we try and keep the water table as high as as high as we can. And by keep Keeping the acid sulphate soil layer wet is good for us and good for the environment. The, drain, the drains are, are probably nearly number one priority on the farm because um, you've got to get rid of that flood water. So they're, they're there to get rid of flood water. And, but the problem is we can get rid of too much soil moisture through the drains. So we want to get rid of that, that flood water as quick as we can but we don't want to then dry our soils right out. We, we have a situation where you can't get rid of the water off the paddocks until such time as the main river's dropped, the creek's dropped. You can't get rid of any water until they're dropped and then it will flow out the floodgates. So the bigger the floodgate, the quicker it flows out, uh, less restrictions and um, then keeping our intermediate drains like this one beside us clean and then ours, our paddock drains, what we call a spinner drain, keeping them clean is the, is the best way of getting it off, off the paddocks as soon as you can. We have um, partnered with council and fisheries to get uh, some floodgates rebuilt. The ones in question had a really deep sill height, they were you know below zero um, AHD and they were very small so even though they were deep they didn't allow flood waters out very quickly we came up with the design of a big wide opening but a sill height of plus 0.3 which allows the volume to flow out really quickly and the then for the environment for the sake of the environment and it doesn't hurt us the um the sill height or the drain height remains at 0.3 which um, then keeps, keeps the acid layer moist.